What's up everyone? Today I will show you how to make a chromatic scale and how to use it. A chromatic scale is very useful when making Friday night Funkin' covers. This is what I made with a chromatic scale. You will need to know the basics of FL Studio before watching this video to understand better. Now let's jump right into making the chromatic scale. First, you will need an existing chromatic scale. I will be using the witty chromatic scale BB Panzu released on his GitHub page. Link is in the description. Drag it onto FL Studio. This is what a chromatic scale sounds like. Next you will need some voice samples of the character you will make the chromatic scale for. Since I'm making one for Ace, I will drag in the voices file of one of Ace's songs. Since this one doesn't have clear samples, I will take a different one. This one sounds okay. Now what you need to do is cut out the separate voice samples. Click on the slice tool and start cutting. This is one of the samples, we will need at least three different samples. There we go, now we have three samples. After that, we will align the voice samples to the witty chromatic. Watch what I do and do the same. Now copy and paste it again and again until you reach the end. After that, turn off the track with the witty chromatic scale. Now export it as an mp3 file. Now drag that file into FL Studio. Here you have one big file with all the samples. Now click on this small icon in the corner. Then click Pitch Correct Sample. After it analyzes, it should look like this. All the samples should be separated. If it isn't correctly separated, you have to do it manually. Click on this scissors, go to snap to grid and turn it off. Next press C and start cutting. But since mine is correctly cut already, we will go to the next step. Drag the first sample to C3, then put rest on top of the last one like I do. Now after you are done with everything, click on this icon and drag it onto the timeline. Then close new tone. 
Now delete the old one. Now export it as a WAV file. Now drag it back onto FL Studio, drop it to the left side this time. Now go to the channel rack, then click on the plus button. Choose, Fruity Slicer. Now drag in the chromatic scale from the left side. Now you will need to make it so that each line is spaced evenly. As you can see, it isn't evenly spaced. Turn down this knob to make extra lines disappear. There we go. But sometimes it will not disappear, if this happens. Slowly turn down this knob until you get every line evenly spaced. After you got the lines evenly spaced. Go to the piano roll and start adding notes. I will drag in a happy MIDI to show you how the ACE chromatic scale sounds like. Ooh. Well, that's it. See y'all later.